Hi there, and welcome to a feature video in QImage Ultimate. This is just going to be a quick video to show off a new and useful feature in QImage Ultimate 2025.102. If you look over here on the right side, you see that we have these settings balloons here. And each setting balloon corresponds to the setting screen for the item. So if you want to know a little bit more about the resolution and you want to dig a little deeper than just selecting what level you want you can click on that little setting balloon and it'll take you to the main settings we've always had that but now we have three new setting balloons here up by the printer and these are for printer settings so in QImage when you want to start a layout the first thing you always think about is the printer especially if you have more than one printer you want to select the printer and make sure you have the right printer selected the right media type and the right size for that paper. And the reason you want to do that is because obviously every printer, every driver, every paper type and paper size will have different margins and all of that needs to be set in place before you start your layout so that QImage knows how to lay out your photos. So these new um, setting balloons here, these will take you directly to printer settings that you might have saved for the printer. So if I click on this top one, it's going to show me all printer settings that I've saved for the Epson ET8550. And you see I have a bunch of them here. And I could take any of these and double click or click and click open and open the settings. Like if I wanted to print on Pearl Luster, I could pick that. Uh, I have one for dark t-shirts, uh, for my press, some of HP Advanced Glossy Paper, different kinds of papers here. But you can also drill down even further, and I could select, say, semi-gloss. And now, of course, if I click here, it'll show me all setups for that printer. But if I click here, it'll show me all setups for the 8550 that are semi-gloss paper. So let me click on that one, and it gives me two for semi-gloss paper. I happen to know that this one is letter size. This one's 13 by 19. So those are the setups that are for the current printer and media type. Now, let me go down here and select 5x7 size just to give us something different. Now, if I click on this bottom one, I've drilled all the way down. And now, if I click on the bottom one, it's going to show me save printer setups for the 8550 semi-gloss paper at a 5x7 size. Let's see if I've saved any for that. And the list comes up empty. So... Right now I'm thinking, well, I didn't save any for that, but I know I printed some 5x7 on semi-gloss for that printer last week or a couple weeks ago. So let me see if I can find that. Up here on the top, this is where we are now. We're in the save folder. This is where you would have saved stuff as the user. You would have saved your printer setups in here. But we can also go to the job log folder, click on that, and now we can see all the jobs that conform to 8550 semi-gloss 5x7 paper size. As you can see down here on the bottom, we have current printer, media type, and media size. And we could change that and go back to uh, everything for the current printer, and it'll show me a whole bunch of jobs that I printed to that printer. Uh, or I can go very specific down to 5x7 semi-gloss on the 8550, which is what's selected. It always goes by what's selected here. So I can see this, and if I want the same settings that I use for that job, all I have to do is click on it, click open settings and now I've got the settings you can see the paper is 5 by 7 paper this is the size with the margins and you can see that that's how we can load things from these setting buttons here these new setting buttons. it's just a convenient way to once you select your printer and paper and paper size you can go right to the settings that apply to that even if it's in the job now the new thing here is if you just say recall a saved printer setup now you can change it here you can change any one of these and it'll go to current uh, printer media type media size and so on but what we didn't have before that we do have now is on this job log I just clicked on open job log and these are the jobs that have been printed 
we also have the setting here now. We didn't have this before where you could whittle it down to show me the jobs for the current printer. Show me the jobs for the current printer and media type. And then show me the current printer, media type, and media size. And of course, I only get that one job. So that's how that works, and it can quickly get you to a place that you know. Because a lot of times you, you're setting up your printer, and then you're kind of, okay, I've set everything up, but how do I know the settings are right? It's just a quick way to get to settings that you've saved, or go and look at jobs that conform to these, and so on. So I hope you enjoy the new features and they, they help get yourself ready for making your layouts. And thanks for watching.